Another way to make a joint is with a mechanically formed T. This tool pulls an outlet from the tube run. Then this tool notches and dimples the branch tube. This joint is now ready to be braced. Sauros fittings are rapidly gaining accented throughout the industry. There are two principal types, push connect and press connect. Push connect fittings are easy to use and can be attached without tools. Some of these fittings can be disassembled and reassembled. Press connect fittings are permanent and require a special tool to assemble. Preparation is the same for both push connect and press connect fittings. The tubing must be cut, reamed, and cleaned properly before it's attached. It's especially important to chamfer the outside of the tube end. Both types of fittings have an O-ring seal on the inside, and chamfering prevents damage to the seal when the tube is inserted. Cutting the tube to the correct insertion depth is important. Use a depth gauge to measure and mark the tube. The depth might vary, but the mark must be visible for inspection. For push connect fittings, you simply push the tube all the way into the fitting, being sure it makes good contact with the bottom of the fitting cup. For fittings that can be disassembled, the manufacturer provides a plastic tool that slips over the tube and presses against the fitting sleeve, which unlocks a gripping ring inside of the fitting. Press connect fittings are assembled with a special tool. After the tube is inserted into the fitting, place the tool jaws over the fitting and depress the trigger. The tool does all the work. You have to be careful to place the jaws correctly, but it only takes a little practice to get it right.